Hey Chris here, this is going to be part 5.1 show you some of the significant things I've done here in the past, well this is the past weekend first thing is I've been testing out some stencils that I got from Lowell's, these are the 3 inch ones and I'll tell you I don't like them I'd rather have something that's authentic US military like we used to have and these are also too damn big so that's the uh, first thing I got also this is the side panel that was actually over here and I put in a new side panel that has a little bit more logical layout here a little bit better airflow too uh, real handles too these are solid handles that are actually bolted in with bolts so you can lift it if I need to the outlet cover here I'm still not sure I like it uh, because these covers don't stay up like they're supposed to and I'd rather have them lock into place. This is catching on that right there. Um, it's not a bad, you know, metal outlet cover, but uh, not real uh, big on that. Uh, oh yeah, I got real casters. Well, not real, <laughs> whatever you call real casters. But these are lockable now, so this thing won't walk away. So I put two swivel lockable ones on the back or on the front here and on the back down there. Those are solid straight ones. The Blue Sea Systems OLED meter should be in today so I can get rid of that monstrosity temporary thing there. Get that mounted up there. That'll be wired into there. That'll be the switch. So this is the inverter power. So when you turn that on, which it is, it's in the on position right now, it'll also turn on the meter. Then you have to physically go in and turn the inverter on. So it's kind of a cool thing there. If you don't want to invert, you just shut the inverter off and turn the power on for the solar charger and you'll be good to go. Uh, real quick here on the back side. So I put the solid handles on this side too for lifting. This is the heavy side where the two Trojan 31 AGM overdrive batteries are. And I still have room for two more. Anyway, uh, these went in really, really good. Uh, went to go put the air vent grill back on. Guess what? don't fit so I had to get the jigsaw out put the metal blade on there and as you can see I cut right around here so this thing will it looks like I still have a little more trimming to do uh oh uh, I was going to put a uh, grounding post in here somewhere I'll figure that out I'll just hardwire it in up there uh, inside here uh, painted the power shelf here OD green surface mounted the MT50 display here just used a circular saw and put that in there and the cat 5 runs through like a little slit that was left over so that works out really really good I am in oh, looks like I'm in bulk mode okay um, overall I'm looking at another couple hundred watts of solar panels to make me happy with this and useful you know 50 percent you're still getting 200 watts coming in with 400 watts in solar panels and also will increase the efficiency because I'll wire the panels in series so I have higher voltage coming in to be with a better power right now I'm just plugged into you know as I showed in the other video fridge TV stereo here in the garage blah 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 and it runs stupid good there it's got you know with the power strip so okay like I said this is Part 5.1, I want to make it real quick and not a 14 minute video like last time. And have a good one. Be safe trick or treating tonight. And uh, thanks for watching. And see you next time. Later.